Fall bass fishing is here and there's no better lure than the spinnerbait. These bass are feeding on bait fish for the winter and the spinnerbait does an excellent job of mimicking that. Today we're gonna go through everything about the spinnerbait from the gear you need, different ways to rig it, where to fish it, and ultimately how to fish it to catch even more bass this fall. So stay tuned and let's get right into it. So for starters, let's talk about the gear you need to fish this spinnerbait, how to rig one up, and then let's go out on the water. We'll show you where and how to fish this thing to catch even more fish. Starting off, let's talk about the rod and reel combo here. The interesting thing is I actually use my chatterbait rod. So this is the Icon chatterbait rod. It has a moderate fast action, but it's a medium heavy power. So so it has a lot of backbone to it. You can stick them with this single hook and not worry about the fish coming off, but it has a moderate fast tip. So as you're reeling it and those fish come up and smoke this thing, you can feel that bite, but your rod has some bend in it to give them just enough time to get that bait down in their mouth so you get a better hook set. You won't lose as many fish with a moderate fast action as opposed to a fast action rod. However, I used to fish a spinner bait on a 610 to 73 medium heavy fast action rod all the time will work just as fine. So you can use either one of those if you don't have this set up here. If you'd like to check this setup out and help support the channel, you can go down in the description below. I'll have all the gear linked and Cashin is letting me run a discount code for you guys through the end of November. You can get 10% off this rod right here by using my code and it will help me out a ton. As for the reel, I have a Shimano Corrado MGL on here. This is just a seven one to one gear ratio. Your reel doesn't really matter as much brand or anything like that. The most important important thing is that gear ratio. I like the faster gear ratio because I can burn my spinnerbait if I want to, or I can slow wind it down there on the bottom and just slow myself down with the reel. And a lot of times these fish will hit it and push the bait towards you. You can catch up with them reel and set the hook into them. I will also run 17 pound test fluorocarbon on here. Occasionally I'll go up to 20 if I'm fishing really heavy cover or big fish. Occasionally I'll go down to 15 if I'm fishing very sparse cover more compact spinner baits, something I wanna get down in the water a little bit more, I'll use that lighter line. But 17 is a great rule of thumb, basically where I will always stay with a spinner bait most of the time. Now, when it comes to the spinner baits, I fish a couple different ones. Today, we're gonna to be using a Nichols Pulsator spinner bait. This is the 3 8 ounce. I don't remember the model or anything like that. I bought these a while ago because they were very compact. And the reason we're gonna use this one today is because we're gonna be fishing a lot around a lot of wood cover. And the smaller the spinner bait, the better in those scenarios because you don't have as much of a gap between your hook and the wire. So this almost acts as a weed guard. So I'm basically treating this as the weed guard to this lure and I'm going to try and get less snags by going with the more compact size. If I'm fishing more open laydowns and stuff like that, bank grasses, everything like that, I will go with a bigger spinner bait. When I do that, I would use the Six Sense Divine spinner baits as my second option. And then as for color, there's literally only two that I use. In dirty water, I'm going to use chartreuse and white. And then in clearer water, I'm going to use some form of a white, whether it's a translucent white, a solid white, whatever it might be, that's all I'm really going to focus on blade selection. Most of the time I'm going double willow leaf. Occasionally, if the water's very dirty, I will throw a double Colorado to get that thump in there. But a lot of times that bait's gonna have a lot of lift and you can still get some thump off of these blades here and the flash. So a lot of times I'm mimicking shad and stuff like that and they're very skinny, flashy bait fish. So that's exactly what these blades mimic. Now, once you've selected your spinner bait, there are two ways to rig it up. One is you tie it on out of the package just like this and you go fish it either blank or you throw a trailer hook on here to help fish that are missing the bait. The reason that I don't use that as often, there are times if I'm literally fishing and every time I keep feeling them slap at it and I do not hook up, I will go to a trailer hook and I will take off the swim bait that I have on here, which we're gonna talk about in a second. The reason I don't like the trailer hook is because a lot of times that is going to freely swing on the back and that defeats the purpose of using this wire as a weed guard, so you will get hung up a lot more. The other thing is a lot of times these fish, if they don't have a big target, they will actually come and hit the blades because that is what looks like the bait fish. So they're gonna hit the blades and they're either gonna get hooked under the chin and they're gonna come off a lot easier or they won't hook up at all. And you'll be feeling like you're getting bit and can't hook up and don't know why. It's because they're eating the blades. So if you're ever missing a ton of fish, even with a trailer hook, or you're reeling fish in and they're hooked underneath the mouth, it is because they're eating the blades so you can adjust your presentation a little bit. 
What I do to help combat that right off the bat is I put a swim bait on here. So this is the Sixth Sense Divine 3.2 perfect fit on this here and it's the perfect fit on the other divine spinner baits as well if you want to check out any of the six cents products they will be linked down in the description below too and you can use my code to save 10 percent off their website as well what it does is it creates a larger profile so if there's these two dinky little blades up here and a huge skirt and swim bait if those fish are sitting there looking for shad this thing comes by and they go to ambush this bait if they're not gonna go for these two tiny little baits. They're gonna try and get the biggest one in the school and it stands out the most, which is right where your hook is. So that's gonna target it. They're gonna suck this thing into their mouth and you will notice you're gonna get a lot better hookups. They're always gonna be hooked inside the mouth somewhere, top, corner, something like that. And if you're doing that and that's happening every time you're landing these fish, you have it dialed. So that is the way that I like to rig this thing up. All I do is I put a little dot of super glue up on the shank of the hook up here, slide my swim bait on and I'm good to go. And that thing is ready to fish. So let's head out on the water. We're gonna put this thing to the test. We're gonna show you where to fish it to catch the most amount of fish, some different techniques to retrieve it and hopefully catch some big ones along the way. So now that we talked about different ways to rig up a spinner bait, the gear you need, everything to get out there and start fishing with this bait, let's put this thing to work and see if we can catch us some fish. It is fall time bass fishing and they should be eating this dude right here. I've caught them on some other techniques today and I'm hoping they'll bite this one just the same. We're gonna start off by talking about where you need to be fishing this bait to have the most amount of success, show you some areas. We're gonna show you some different retrieves because that's very important as well, making sure you have the right retrieve. And then finally, we're just gonna get to catching some fish and hopefully show you how effective a spinner bait can be in the fall. So the first thing you'll notice we are fishing around a lot of wood today. We may fish some rock, but the spinner bait is like the best bait you can throw around wood. You cannot get it snagged. It will not usually roll over and get hung up because the blades actually act as like a weed guard. So when you come up to a piece of wood, it'll hit, it might roll over, but it'll deflect off that wire and then pop forward. And a lot of times I'll let it fall just after I do that and then keep my retrieve going. And that can trigger a bite if there's a fish in that piece of cover. The spinnerbait works excellent in grass as well. It is very good grass bait and it will come through pretty clean but my favorite place to fish it is wood, especially in the fall when these fish are up here feeding around bait fish or feeding on bait fish. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today and cover a bunch of water shallow all around this wood. I'll fish it right down the outside edges of it. I'll throw it right down the middle. You can't be afraid to get it hung up because that's where the fish live. You wanna put it in front of where the fish live. So like I have this little alleyway right here. Instead of just throwing it to the front, I'm gonna throw that thing all the way to the back back there and work it all the way out. And sometimes the biggest fish will be way back in there where people are afraid to cast. So don't be afraid of putting your spinnerbait in some wood cover. Nine times out of 10, it'll come right back out. Get out of there. There we go. Right in that wood. That's a nice one. That is not a bad one. Hopefully we can catch a bunch more like that today. That's a nice fish. I love the spinner bait just because it usually catches some bigger quality. You're not gonna catch a lot of little ones, but you can see I threw my bait like way back in there and I brought it down this alleyway right here. And that's how I was able to get that fish to bite. I was literally retrieving it through the thickest cover and she couldn't resist it. So now there's a ton of different ways you can retrieve a spinner bait but let me walk you through how I usually do it to catch the most amount of fish possible. So the first thing I'm gonna do, obviously you wanna keep your bait in the cover like we just talked about. That's more about where to fish it. But when I'm actually fishing this, the first way I fish it, just to determine if these fish are gonna eat it, is I slow wind it in just like this. And basically what I'm doing is having this deflect off of things on the bottom or the pieces of wood or whatever the cover is around. But I, all I do is just slow wind it in. And because these blades have lift, depending upon how big your blades are and how big your spinner bait is, as you reel, the faster you reel, the higher this bait will come up in the water column. The slower you reel, the deeper it'll stay. So I reel it pretty slow. I try to keep it down deep in the water and get, not get those blades to lift. The other way you can fish this thing is you can throw it in here and you can reel it a lot faster and I can keep that like six inches below the surface if I know the fish are feeding up and looking for bait. So like right now, my spinner bait's only about six inches below the surface right now. I can literally pull it up and I can see the wake coming across the top of the water. So you can do different levels of the water column like that, but for the most part, I'm just winding this thing slow down on the bottom. Now, what I also do is if I deflect off a piece of cover or something, 
I'll pop it off the piece of cover like that. I'll give it one second to sink down and then I'll start reeling again. So like if I were to deflect off this log up here, I'd reel. My rod loads up, it deflected right there. I pop it free, I let it sink for just a second and then I start reeling again and sometimes that will trigger them. The other thing you can do is slow rewind and every once in a while just flare your reel handle a little bit and get them to fire up that way. The last one is you can just kind of slow wind it like this and then twitch your rod tip like that. Sometimes you'll see me double flare it a little bit and that'll get those blades and skirt to pulse in the water and sometimes that can get you an extra bite. But for the most part, reel it slow, keep it down deep and unless those fish are really chasing or something crazy, I reel it nice and slow and keep it in front of the fish and try and get them to react to it by bouncing it into whatever they're relating to down there on the bottom. That's not a little one. That one's a good one. Not a bad one. Old spinnerbait fish. Look at that one. I love it. See if we can get us some bigger ones than this. But that's a good one. See, buddy? He thumped it so hard. All right, so I just lost my trailer on that fish, so we're gonna put a new one on. This is a Divine 3.2 swim bait, and then this is my spinner bait. So you can see this spinner bait here, this Pulsator swim spinner bait. It does not have the bait keeper up here. So what I do is I basically feed it on here, and I measure it up, I make sure it's center, I make sure it's where I want it to be, so Right there is a little long because the swim bait curves a little bit. So I'll back it out. I'll bring it back up. There we go. I got a straight swim bait. What I'm going to do is I'm going to back it off just a little bit more again. I'm going to take some of my favorite Loctite gel super glue, put it right there, and then push that right up on. And now I have a finished spinner bait right there. There we go. Oh, he smoked it. Oh, he smoked it. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Look at that one. Oh my gosh. Well, the spinnerbait is probably one of my favorite fall bass fishing lures of all time. The trailer I'm actually using on here is one of my favorites for smallmouth and I fish it a little bit differently. So if you want to check that video out right there, check that out to figure out how to catch some big smallmouth in the fall using that same bait, just rigged a little different. And that is a beautiful fish. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit the like button down below and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.